Hi guys, let's talk about now the role of open market operations uh, and how they actually change interest rates. This can be a really tricky concept to understand, but if you just keep in the back of your mind that how they do this is by altering the supply of money. And remember what we learnt about um, the, how changes to supply can affect price, then that'll help, uh, help you understand this in a much easier way. So let's start just very, very simply about why do we even have open market operations? And there's really two key reasons why the, the Reserve Bank does this. And the first one is sometimes there's a change in monetary policy. So monetary policy is just the, um, uh, the target cash rate that they're going to set. At the moment, it's 0.25%. Uh, and let's say that they would want to reduce that target cash rate, um, then they're gonna have to alter, or um, uh, they're gonna have to change interest rates in order, to that, in order for that to have an effect in the economy. And the other one um, is probably the one that happens more frequently. Uh, we just don't know that it happens. It happens multiple times a day um, where there's just a change in the demand for Australian money. And there's lots of different things that could cause a change in the demand for Australian money. Um, for example, consumption could be high um, just on any given day. Lots of people shopping, um, whatever it might be. We might have um, big commodities um, sales go through, you know, billions and billions of dollars in that regard. Uh, and as a result, that's gonna increase the demand for money here in Australia. And as you guys know, when the demand for money increases, well, it's gonna be more scarce. And the, so then the price of it's gonna go up. And the Reserve Bank of Australia, they don't want this. They, they've set a cash rate, they've looked at all the economic conditions that are going on, and they believe the, the, the best policy at the moment is this particular target cash rate. And so they're gonna use these open market operations in order just to maintain that particular price of money, which when you think about it, that's what interest rates are, is the price of money. If you wanted to go and get money, then well, the price at which you're going to go and get money is the interest rate. All right, so I want you to think of interest rates purely as the price of borrowing money and the rules of demand and supply uh, apply here uh, just as much as they would if you were talking about soft drinks or international holidays or any other market for that matter. All right, so let's get into it. Um, open market operations. I'm gonna split this into two on how open market operations actually work. I'm gonna start first with uh, when the RBA wants to reduce the cash rate, all right? Um, so move it closer to the, uh, the target where the actual cash rate is higher than what the target cash rate is they wanna bring it down. So we're gonna use this concept of Commonwealth government securities. So here, um, you also might read in your textbook, they're called repos. Um, essentially what the, the RBA is going to do in this particular instance is they're gonna deal in the financial market here, and that's why it's called open market operations. They're gonna deal in the open financial market. And what are they gonna do? Well, if they're gonna reduce the cash rate, right, we need the price of money to fall. So what are we gonna do? So the Reserve Bank of Australia, as you can see here, is going to buy the Commonwealth government securities. All right, think of that as the loan or the IOU or whatever it might be, the piece of paper that says, whoever I bought this from, I will pay you back in the future. Um, and then so as a return, the banks and financial institutions will get a big wad of cash. Okay, so the security has gone to the Reserve Bank of Australia. Um, and then the money has gone to the financial institutions. And so it's financial institutions, such as I mentioned earlier, who in the future are going to pay this money back possibly a bit of interest. But in the meantime, the Reserve Bank has held on to this Commonwealth government security. Now what's important here is the supply of money. So after this transaction, you gotta ask yourself, in the financial system here, yeah, which we've represented by this, you know, these bank things over here, what has happened to the supply of money? Now, all of this cash from the Reserve Bank has gone into it. You've got to kind of answer to yourself. And the answer is the supply has increased. Now, real basic economics, what happens to the price of money when the supply of money has increased? Well, the price is going to fall. Okay, and the reason for that is these banks now have a surplus of money. We have disequilibrium, we've got a surplus, and so to clear that surplus, what are they gonna do? They're gonna drop the price that they're willing to loan that money out to people like you and me and mums and dads, and so therefore the interest rates will fall back to the target which the Reserve Bank is looking for. All right, so the supply of money is the key idea here. When they wanna reduce the interest rates, 
Reserve Bank will buy a Commonwealth government security, thereby increasing the supply of money, causing a surplus, interest rates fall. If that was a bit quick, feel free to go over it again. We're gonna now go to the other side, which is an increase in the cash rate. So it's the same mechanism, guys, but it's just the other way around. All right, so here, what the Reserve Bank is gonna do, they are going to sell the Commonwealth government security to the financial institutions, and in return, they're gonna get a big wad of cash from the financial institutions. And so your pathway here is exactly the opposite as what we had before. So what has happened to the supply of money in the financial sector here? Well, there's less money now, isn't there? Okay, so there's been a decrease in the supply of money in the financial sector. And what happens when there's a decrease in supply of any market? What happens to the price of that thing? Well, it becomes more scarce. We have a shortage and to clear that shortage, the financial um, sector is going to increase the price of money and thereby increase interest rates. All right, so to quickly summarize here, to reduce interest rates, the Reserve Bank of Australia is going to buy the Commonwealth government security, and then in return, they're going to put money into the financial system. That's gonna create a surplus and therefore interest rates will fall. The other way around, when they wanna increase interest rates closer to the target, the RBA is going to sell the Commonwealth government security, and in return, they're gonna take money out of the financial system, it's going to become more scarce and a shortage will occur. And just because, uh, and, and as you guys know from your knowledge of supply, that's going to cause an increase in the price or interest rates rising. To summarise how it all works is the Reserve Bank of Australia manipulates the supply of cash in the open market to affect changes to interest rates. So hopefully that helps. Please feel free to watch this over uh, again if it doesn't. Uh, and thanks for paying attention. See ya.